uh, here's how I, I look at it. Sure. My take on it is this, that I feel that this world is like a university. And you come to, an uni come to a university to get educated. You come to a university to enhance your know-how. Mm. You come to a university to learn. You come to a, a university to deepen your understanding about a subject. You come to a univers university to get a degree to graduate and start something right, in the outside world. To me, this world seems to be like a university. Right? It's all about learning. It's all about evolving. It's all about going through the process of enhancing my understanding and educating myself in life. Now, imagine a life where everything was fair. What's the learning? Imagine a life where everything goes exactly the way you want it. What the bloody hell am I learning? Right? Imagine a life where I get what I want, when I want, how I want. Where is my evolution? Do I even have an opportunity to work on myself and everything goes my way? Hmm. When you go to the gym, you lift weights. You're lifting weights against gravity. Because you lift weights against gravity is when your muscles grow. Growth is a consequence of going against gravity. And going against gravity means suffering. Right? If I put a weight down, bloody hell, no problem. It's just going down. There's no pain in it. But if I have to put, pick up a dumbbell which is 25 kilos up like this, it's going anti-gravity. And anti-gravity means pain. But pain means growth. Right? Pain means growth. Now, some people will take, have to go through that pain. And because they're going through the pain just for the heck of going through it, there's no growth. Mm. Look at people going to the gym and just swinging without focusing on their muscle. There's no growth. They're just swinging. The muscle's not even lifting the weight. There's no mind-muscle connection. You know? But those who are not just going through it for the heck of it, they see the pain. They know that's anti-gravity. They know there are issues. They know their problems. They know their challenges. And when they consciously try to use it for their growth, that is when growth happens. No pain, no gain. There's no question of growth without pain. You go to university. It's a hell of a lot of pain. To go through thick, fat books, to write the assignments, to go through the wires, to write your exams. You have to slog it out like hell if you want a degree from Ivy League University. Go to IIM Ahmedabad and ask any of the students, they're slogging it out. Right? It's painful. But that's the purpose. How do you grow? How do you evolve? How do you learn? How do you progress without having gone through that pain? So to me, you could just call it, this is a world of suffering, suffering, suffering. It's such a negative way of looking at it. And I'm not one of those. I hate looking at the world in a very pessimistic, negative way that, oh, there's so much pain, there's so much... There is pain, undoubtedly. Like you rightly said at the beginning of this question, nobody's life is perfect. And it can't be, right? We're not looking for perfection in our life. We're looking for genuineness and sincerity of commitment to our lives. Right? Perfection, nobody can have. But can we be sincere in our life? Yes. Perfect moments, nobody can have. Can Happy moments, can we have? Yes. A perfect relationship, nobody can have. A happy relationship, we can try to have. A perfect home, nobody can have. A happy home, we can try to have. You know? So I really don't think that like I said, I don't look at this world just constantly saying it's pain, 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 pain. Oh God, sometimes spirituality and spiritual leaders just, just bombard people with this. Man, the people are going through enough of that stuff. <laughs> you don't need to tell them that. You need to direct that energy rightly to say, how do you utilize that pain to grow? Is there a scripture that 